Um, and uh, I called up a friend of mine who's from San Francisco and I asked her some tips on, you know, you know, where should I go or what should I do? Where should I stay or whatever? Um, and she's like, you know what? I kind of want to go back home. So she booked her ticket too and we just, we went. And so it was, it was so much fun. Like we went over there and this was a couple weeks after we booked our tickets and we just had a, a, such a good time. Her, some of her friends went back home and took us around and they took us to all the, the neighborhoods that I, um, that, you know, I hadn't been to before and, um, got to go to restaurants and go shopping and it was just, it was so much fun. And I want to do something like that again. Like I like the spontaneity of it. Like if you just feel like getting away and you, you have the money to do, you have the funds, just go. Like don't, like, don't wait. Like, cause opportunities like that, you know, you just never know when you're going to have them again. So you have the opportunity to be spontaneous, just just do it. Live your life. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. Great advice. Yeah. Now, speaking of advice, you were on the panel earlier. Mm -hmm. um, what's one piece of advice that you would like to share with those who were not here that you spoke about earlier on your panel? Well, um, the panel was about building up Me Inc. and just um, being really in tune with your brand offline and online and on paper. Um, and I guess the biggest takeaway from that whole conversation is that um, having your own brand is really important in this day and age, not just for people who want to have a blog or for, you know, per, for people who want to be personalities. It's incredible, incredibly important to have your own brand um, if you plan on being the CEO of a company, if you plan on opening up your own business, if you plan on, you know, doing anything where you're going to need exposure because social media and um, online branding is becoming such an integral part of how people are advancing in life just in general. I got my current position as a social media specialist, I got that because of the fact that I, you know, was able to grow my blog's presence and, you know, just have gotten really versed in, in digital media. So it's really about opening up more opportunities for yourself by creating a brand and by getting it out there and, um, and having clear messaging. So it's really important. Just because you know you don't want to be a personality or be on TV doesn't mean that you shouldn't think about maybe having a YouTube channel or think about having a Facebook page to promote your own pro your project. So it's important. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and what's next for Christina Brown? What's next for Christina Brown? Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm still working on my blog. Um, I'm always going to be working on Love Brown Sugar. I love it. It's my baby, and so I'm going to keep it going. Um, I'm actually planning on starting a business this year. Um, it's going to be an online business. I can't tell you too much about it yet. It's a surprise, but <laughs> it will be coming out soon. And when it does, everybody will know about it. Um, and so I'm really happy about that because entrepreneurship is something I'm really, really excited about. Um, of course, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it 100% full time because, you know, you have to start somewhere. But um, I'm definitely very interested in starting my own business and I encourage everyone out there who's thinking about it, like, just go for it. Go for your dreams and, um, you know, and the rest will follow. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah. So as you can see, following your passion and just doing what you love can turn into something that can change people's lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.